Hey guys, it's CSPN 001 here, welcome you to part 20 of Let's Play LEGO Star Wars 100%. Last time we finished up chapter 5 of episode 3. However, we are not going to head into chapter 6 just yet. Instead, we begin canister hunting, and I don't like you. I will play as you, just because I feel like it. Man, they gave us a crap load of characters. So we've currently got three chapters to go back into for canisters. And this one and Chapter 5 aren't going to be too bad, because neither one of them are really all that many that I'm missing. It's, once again, Dreaded Chapter 4. So we're going to pop that up, and as you can see, there's a canister actually right in this first room. So to get to this one, uh, there we go, Padme has an ascension gun. We're going to jump right up and grab our canister. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize that I would jump right into it, but the second canister that we missed, you have to jump into this ascension gun pad right here, and jump up and it's on a ledge right here. I thought you had to walk over the door to get to it, so I do apologize for that, unfortunately you didn't get to see it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go up on the grapple thing and grab your canister because you pop immediately into it. Jeez, die. Really, most of the canisters, though, that we can't get, or that we need to get now, are pretty early on in the level, and this this is not a canister, this is just something I want to show off that you can do in free play. If you hit that, this, this thing will jump up basically as an elevator, so it's somewhat of a faster way up to a droidica to beat down. And I believe that we got this before, oh, but just in case we didn't. I'm gonna throw him off. Yeah, I, I don't know if I really showed too much of that off. It's just kind of useless to me. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Both of the remaining canisters are actually right here together. So we did pretty well the first time through. The canisters are in pretty easy to get places. This one, as you just saw there, you activate it with 3PO or one of his type of droids, and that's all you need to do. Now we're gonna go into this, and we're just gonna go ahead and use the force on this because the next canister is right out here. You guys may remember this one. Uh, I tried to get to it and I almost did. And let me switch over to a blaster character here because that might be just a little bit easier. Oh, dang, can you like, man, I forgot. She has such a low jump compared to the Jedi. Oh crap, that's Anakin. That's baby Anakin or child Anakin or whatever his name is. Okay, General Grievous, as you can see, he is a super jump character. He's a little hard to control, I feel like, but he does have his quad lightsaber epicness. Although, as I've said before, he doesn't actually have any force powers, which is kind of aggravating. But let's just see him in action against an enemy here, because we haven't gotten to see him in action yet. Yeah, that's his freaking downward attack, is he slices them with all four lightsabers. Unfortunately, though, even though he has four, he doesn't do any extra damage. Which I found that to be just a little bit strange, but, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Oh man, actually, so now that we've got all the canisters, I'll just meet you guys back at the end of the level. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off this level, shall we? If my idiot partner would switch to a Force character, thank you very much. Now we can finish off this level's free play and never have to come back, so we got about a fair number of studs. And it's complete, guys. Another mini kit complete. Leaving only, I guess, three more, because we still have... So now chapters 1, 2, and 3 of episode 3 are all 100% complete. All we have left are chapters 4, 5, and 6, with 5 not being all that bad, though a lot of the canisters I think are a little bit later on in the level. I really just do not want to do chapter 4 right now, but... Let's players must sometimes suffer for their occupation. If you call it that. Oh boy, I just want to make sure... I don't think there's any canisters right at the beginning, but this way I'll know for sure if there are. And then I won't have to do as much cutting. Okay, no they're not, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so the first remaining canister of Defense of Kashyyyk is located right here. You can sort of see it up in the trees there. 
Uh, you could make some progress on this one initially, but you couldn't get the entire way. Alright, clones, just die. Thank you. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is switch over to an... Uh, oh yes, Wookiees do have an ascension gun. Kind of awesome. You did have to come up here normally just to even free all the other Wookiees. Which I believe you have to do this in story mode, in a uh, free play mode anyway. Wow, yeah, it was like... Did it seriously just give us three different clones? Really? That's so stupid. Okay, uh, can we get our droid here? Use your droid to hover right on over, and actually I think he's going to have to hover to this one. Then use our Wookiee, and use our Wookiee. Oh wait, no, you have to use a super jump character here, actually. Grievous has jumped up, very nice. And I'm just going to stay right here because the next canister, I believe, is not far from here. I could be wrong. But also, as you can see here, Grievous is hard to use in battle because he's a, I don't feel like he has any... He has sort of like Yoda almost in terms of hitting. Like, I think he has some trouble actually hitting the targets. Okay, I thought there was another canister here. I'll be back with you guys in a minute then. Okay, so there actually was another canister in this area, and actually this one, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten in the story. Actually, I don't know how I missed this one, but I actually managed to miss this one in my original run of the level. So that one you can get in free play or story mode, so I sort of, I guess I was stupid there for a second. But hey, everyone's allowed a dirt gear move every now and then. I don't know why I even said that. So unfortunately, you do have to free the Wookiees, though. And now we head to the beach. And I could cut, but there are some canisters right off the bat on the beach. Or there's one that I know of. Yep, there's, there's two, actually. Excuse me. So we might as well just go ahead and start heading across the dreaded beach that was almost my downfall. Oh, you jerk. Look at me, I'm a clone, I run at the rate of two miles per decade, or, that doesn't even make sense. Oh crap, uh, so our first canister that we can get to is, okay, I, I, that's what I thought, okay, let's just switch over to a droid so we don't end up falling by accident and grab it. So it's already six of our canisters, so yeah, I'll admit, this level isn't nearly as bad in free play. Well, it shouldn't be, though, considering it's free play. And our other canister is going to be right over here. But to get to this one, this one we also could have gotten, but I was too lazy to go for it because I was getting pissed off at the time and I didn't build the bridge. So, yeah, I was being really lazy my first playthrough of this level. I think I was just annoyed at this one other canister. So that makes, like, two that I could have gotten. But I think that these are the only ones that I actually missed that I could have gotten. So I'll admit I was probably being kind of lazy during the playthrough of the level initially and I was just forgetting some stuff or just annoyed at the fact that I could not get through that other part at all. Because this was actually how you were supposed to do this part actually. You weren't supposed to jump and shoot like I did. You were supposed to go across and do that because you had a force character being Yoda. And actually our next canister is right in here as well. But I'm going to cut back to you guys as it does take a minute to get to. We have to kill all these enemies first, so I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so once you kill all the enemies in this section, this is actually my second attempt for the first time, like three more enemies jumped on me as soon as I started talking. So, use the force to raise this part of the ship. But now you're going to need a super jump character and have him jump up and do that. And actually our next canister is not too far from here, so we're just gonna go ahead and play as, we're just go ahead and start playing through. We're gonna need a Dark Force character to get to this one. I believe I pointed this one out initially, but you do need a Dark Force character to get to this one. You can see the arrow flashing. So what you wanna do is kill off all of these enemies. Die. Oh crap, hey clones, nice job jumping in late to the fight, letting the droids do all the work for you. Lazy. Yeah, Lego clones are some of my favorite characters though, because they make good Lego City soldiers, because I have a pretty big Lego City and they make very good soldiers. Uh, what you want to do is, as a Dark Force character, use the force on this black plant, and this will create an ascension gun point. 
Oh yeah, owns. Well, I guess he still got a shot off at me, and he hit me, so it doesn't matter. But we're gonna climb right over for this canister. Uh, the last canister we can't get to just yet. It's at the end of the level, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so to get to Sheik's last canister, then we'll never have to come back to this dreaded level ever again. Uh, kill these last couple of clones, or they keep bothering us. Jump on top of the spaceship as a super jump character and do that. And now, since we're right at the end of the level, we might as well go ahead and open up our space shuttle. Let's hope he can... Nice job! You did well as a bait there, Mr. Wookie. And now, the next mini kit part has been assembled. Or the next mini kit has been assembled. So, with that, we now have over 100,000 studs again. And we have completed Defense of Kashyyyk, leaving only one more level to do in free play. Well, two more technically, but just one more in my current recording session. Then I'll just leave the last little couple videos for later on. Because I've got a weird sore throat today. Like, it doesn't really hurt or scratch that much, but randomly, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really weird. All right, I just want to make sure there weren't any new characters to buy. So next up, we will head on into the fifth chapter of the game, or of uh, episode three. And this is actually the last one, Ruin of the Jedi. So this is the last one, as I said before, I'm doing in this sort of session. And this one isn't as bad, as I've said before, but now Kashyyyk really didn't end up being that bad in free play, obviously. And once again, I could have gotten two other canisters initially, but I, just, I was just too lazy to go for them. So we have a couple of canisters right off the bat here, so I might as well, I don't really see much of a point of cutting for a couple of canisters that are right here at the beginning. Die Destroyed Clone, or Die Cloney, Clone, whatever your name is. So what you're going to have to do to get this one is, you guys got to see some of this one initially. Uh, build these two platforms out, and there's a couple more over here that we're going to need to get. Come on, come on, there we go. Is there a fourth one? Okay, screw that, there is a fourth one. Who's our super jump character this time around? It's Jar Jar, okay. And we've got it. So that's six, and number seven is right over here, so we're just gonna go ahead and get it now. Come on, just die. And actually, this one's a bit more complicated to get to. What you're going to have to do is come over here. And you might remember we did not have a blaster character the first time we went through this. So jump on up here. Now come up here and switch back over to a good character. Uh, if you come up here, there's also some studs up here, I believe. Or No, there's no studs. I thought there were a lot of studs up here as well, but there's not. But oh well. That's our canister. Oh, there's the studs I was thinking of. Well, too late, we missed them. So I'll see you guys in a moment for when we get to the next group of canisters. I don't remember exactly where they are, but we will find them soon enough. Okay, guys, I'm now back in the Jedi Library place thing. Uh, by the way, those panels that I thought were Dark Force only, well, it turns out I was right. I used the Force on them. They just give you studs, so they're not really that big a deal. I just wanted to clarify that for, from that previous video. So this one, you can only get by doing that, and I'm probably going to do all of this together because pretty much all of these canisters are sort of together. And this way you can uh, see again, like, exactly what you... Actually, you know what? A sequence break you can do here if you think it saves time. Switch up to Jar Jar. Oh, I could have just hit left once and gotten it. But yeah, those panels that we passed that were the red colored panels that I thought might be Dark Force only, well, it turns out I was correct. And now, oh, hold on a minute, I just want to cheat here. Yes, I did cheat correctly, very nice. So now that we've done that though, what we have to do to get the remaining canisters, the remaining two canisters for that matter, is come right over here. And once again, I apologize with how dark everything is. I don't like that about this level. Use a super jump character to get up here, and... And that wasn't supposed to happen that way. 
Uh, let's see, where is R2? Oh, come on, game. I had that, you know it. Oh, jeez, come on, game. We're so... It won't let me double jump anymore, that's weird. So yeah, I guess I wasn't hitting it fast enough, maybe? Oh, wait a second, I think I remember what you're supposed to do. I'm just a little bit rusty, because I don't know this level all that well, as you guys can probably tell by now. That's what you're supposed to do. But it's so effing dark, like, whose idea... Wow, game, wow. Seriously, whose idea was it to make this level so effing dark? You can't see anything. You pretty much just have to walk wherever the studs are. <sighs> Come on. Well, now that those are destroyed, I don't know if that makes much of a difference. But once again, you can't see anything because the level is so effing dark. I mean, seriously. Okay, I'm just coming back to you guys. So after about 20 attempts, I finally made it over here. What you need to do, use R2 to hover right over that thing, get the canister, and I know where the last canister is, but I don't think we can actually do anything about it just yet. First, we need to do that. And now, uh, let's just switch over to a Force character. God, this level is so annoying, right? I swear to you guys, this level is never this jerkish. But unfortunately, we do have to do all of this because the game has to be a jerk right now. Of course, everything needs a freaking... Okay, there we go, actually. So you didn't actually need one for that. And now... Jump up, hit that, and we hit our second switch. We do need to do this, unfortunately, so it's all its all part of the plan. The very unfortunate plan of trying to play through this level without crying. But once again, this level usually doesn't give me that many problems. It didn't give me any real problems in the recording. So it created some kind of platform, but of course it's too dark to see it. But now there is something nice that we can do. We can actually come right back over here, and I believe that there may be a way to get back up there. Well, we might as well give it a try, even though I don't know if this is actually going to help. Oh, of course not. But we do now have this ledge to jump up to, which certainly makes things easier. Once again, if it wasn't so dark, this wouldn't be taking six billion years to do. I have used the term six billion way too many times in the last few videos. And canister. And I don't really see a point of cutting because we're right at the end of the level here, so we're just going to head through this door, with finally with all ten canisters, after me being really, really pissed off and annoyed. And kill all of them. And now we shall use the Force. There we go, guys. Level complete. Finally. Screw that. And mini kit parts. Complete. So, guys, with that, that is every canister left in the game, aside from the final mission, of course. So... Basically, next time we will do the final mission and probably within the same video or possibly within like a half part or something, cover the remaining couple canisters on the mission because you're only going to miss two or three your first run of the level. Why does it make me play as him? Yeah, so that's what we'll be doing the next two videos. will probably be those last... It may only take one video, I don't know exactly. But in the next video or two, we will finish up episode three. And then for the finale... Or, yeah, for the finale, I will go and show uh, the remaining mini kits and the final level, of course. And then for the extras video, I'll show off the game's extras. So, I'll see you guys next time for the final battle.